Hey guys, this is Lawrence. In this video, I'll show you how to install OpenCar version 2. And I'll be using the FileZilla FTP program to upload the files. Uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and create the MySQL database from your cPanel. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm, I've logged into my cPanel. And I'm going to MySQL database wizard. And then we're going to create a database. Now we need to do this step in order for the open card to function properly. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it OC2 for open card 2. And then click next step. And then I'm going to create a database user. So I'm just going to call it OC2 user. And then type the uh, password. Okay, and then click create user. After that's done, uh, make sure to click all privileges. And then we're going to click uh, next step. And we're done. Now we need to uh, remember the, the database name and the username because we need this when we install the OpenCard version 2 later. So now let's go ahead and download the OpenCard from our OpenCard website. Go to opencard.com and make sure you click download at the top and download the latest version. After you're done downloading, you want to extract a zip file. So double click on it and go inside the opencard folder and then you want to open the upload folder. And here uh, we need to modify a couple of files and one of them here is right here, config-dist and we just want to remove hyphen dist okay and we want to do the same thing inside the admin folder you can see here config hyphen dist so let's go ahead and delete the dash dist and now we just need to upload all these files to your server and we'll be using filezilla to upload all these files if you haven't already done so, uh, make sure you go to the FileZilla website and download the FileZilla client. It's available for both Mac and PC. Just make sure you download the latest version. So I have the FileZilla open here. We want to go File, Site Manager. And here you want to click New Site and then enter your uh, server information here. And next to the host, into your domain name and then for the protocol you can just leave it at FTP encryption plain FTP for logon type change that to normal and into your username and password now this one you, uh, you should have gotten like a welcome email from your hosting provider and it should have the username and password there if not you can just contact your hosting provider and they can help you out uh, after you've done that, just click connect and it will connect to your server. And we want to go inside the public underscore HTML folder. And in here, I'm going to upload all the files. So to upload, all you need to do is click and hold and then drag it in here. And that will start the uh, upload process. After the upload's done, we can start the installation process. Go to your domain name.com forward slash install, and you should see the screen here. Click continue, and just make sure the status is all green, and then click continue. And in here, we need to enter some information. Uh, we need to enter the username, which is the MySQL username that you created earlier, your password, and then the database name. So let's go back to the cPanel. From here, instead of clicking the MySQL database wizard, we're now going to click MySQL databases. And then below the uh, current databases, this is the database and the username we created. So let's copy and paste the username first. Right click on it and then copy. 
go back and and just paste it in here so right click on it and then paste and enter your password that you created earlier and let's go ahead and paste in the database name so this is the database name right click on it copy right click in here and then let's paste that in here now let's scroll down now we need to create the username and password to access the backend admin and this is the username and password that we need in order to access the open cart version 2 backend so I'm gonna leave the username as admin and for the password I'm gonna create a password it's gonna call it demo 00 and then enter your email address and then after you're done click continue it says here installation complete and you also get a message here saying don't forget to delete your installation directory so we can do that from the file manager and cpanel uh, from your cpanel go to file manager and then go to the root folder and we want to delete this install folder select the folder and click delete once that's done we can access the back end just type your domain name dot com forward slash admin and once you're there just type in your username you created earlier it's admin and then your password and then click login and now we can access the back end now go to your domain name dot com to check out the front end of your store as you can see we have successfully installed the OpenCart version 2 and that completes the installation.